I've actually never tried one of these perfect for Halloween months. And that's just a really cool little thing to put on a shelf. You can use these for craft projects. This one is cats. Woo! Hi, I'm Dan and this is Puzzle File. Today's video is sponsored by Timu. I am stoked to do this video today because a lot of the puzzles that I feature on this channel can be pretty pricey and that's not in everybody's budget. And to be honest, it's not in my budget either. Regular viewers know that I get most of my puzzles from thrift stores. So I was excited to get to feature a super low budget option for you today. If you're not familiar with it, Timu is an online marketplace that offers products in lots of different categories, including puzzles and toys, at discounts of up to 90% off. They offer free shipping, free returns within 90 days, and they'll even give you a $5 credit if your package gets delayed. So Timu is sponsoring this video and they provided everything that I'm going to be showing you today, but they also asked me to give my true feelings about the products. So I'll be giving you my honest reviews of each of these. You can use the link in the description to find all of the items that I'm showing you today and to download the Timu app. And you can save even more off of your first purchase if you use code DEAL5789 to access a $100 coupon bundle. Now the prices and the selection of products change pretty frequently on Timu, but to give you a sense of the price range, everything that I'm showing you today is currently available for between $2.50 and $12 on the high end. And the first thing that I want to show you is at the low end of that range, the $2.50. That is my wooden puzzle piece bow tie. I love this little item already. I'm sure you're going to see me wearing this a lot. It's made out of a nice thick piece of wood. It clips on easily and it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. But it's one of those things where it's like, even if I only wear it to one event, that's worth $2.50. The bow tie aside, I've put together a really fun selection of puzzles and puzzle adjacent products. I'm really excited to dig in and get a sense of what the quality is of these items. And I want to start with their wooden puzzles. I picked up three wooden puzzles from Timu. We've got kind of a stained glass dragonfly, there's a bee on a flower, and then this really interesting artwork featuring a rabbit. So we're going to take a look at all three of these, look at the boxes, look at the pieces, compare them, and then I'm going to solve one of them for you right now. Okay, so all three of our wooden puzzles are packaged basically the same way. They're in a, a pretty sturdy cardboard box that's wrapped in plastic. As you can see, there's not really any like branding on the box. It just says wooden puzzle, uh, the difficulty level, all three of these say that they are a 5A challenger difficulty. So all of these designs were available in all three sizes. I got them all in A3. It doesn't tell us the actual dimensions of the puzzle. It doesn't tell us the piece count. So there's a lot we don't know from the packaging. I'm going to go ahead and remove the plastic so we can take a look inside. Okay, so each puzzle comes bagged in like a little tool bag inside. And then they each have a little poster included. So this is just like a printout on a piece of paper. You can see that it hasn't been folded very carefully, but it gives you a little something to work with other than the box image. The pieces do look pretty similar between the three. Let's get them out and do a little comparison. So between the three pieces, they all seem to be about the same. Actually, this one, which is the stained glass dragonfly, seems like it's just slightly thinner. And you can see that these two are made from a three ply wood and the dragonfly is cut from like a two ply. All of them feel pretty solid. None of them look like they have like little pieces that are going to break off. Nothing looks damaged. Amongst the three, the rabbit picture seems to have the clearest quality of image. The other two are a little blurrier. 
Okay, and all three puzzles also have some little whimsy cut shapes. So these are not the nicest wooden pieces I've ever felt, but given the price point, these are a lot nicer than what I was expecting, honestly. I'm pretty pleased with these. Since these all feel pretty similar, I'm gonna go ahead and just solve the one that I'm most excited about, which is the bigger one, this funky rabbit art. Okay, I've got everything turned face up. Over here, I've got all the whimsy pieces. You can see it's a lot of like fun animal shapes and flowers. And then over here, I've sorted out all the edge pieces. A lot of times I don't start with the edges on a wooden puzzle, but this one has a nice even edge because it's rectangular. So I am gonna start with the edges now. was kind of a hard puzzle. It's only, I think, about 250 pieces, but because it has such similar colors and textures across the whole image, it made it really tricky. I enjoyed this image a lot. There are little nitpicky things that I could point out about this. The quality of the printing of the image could be a little crisper. The whimsy-shaped pieces are all upside down. I don't know if that was just a strange choice, or if that was sort of a careless mistake in the cutting. It doesn't take away from my enjoyment of the puzzle, but just kind of a weird thing. All in all, though, a really nice puzzling experience. And again, for like a $10 wooden puzzle, I'm really pleased with it. Okay, the next thing we're looking at is these mini puzzles that come in little plastic test tubes. Right away, the unusual thing with these is that they're not packed and shipped in the test tube. You get the test tube separately and the puzzles come fully assembled. So you have to break the pieces up yourself to put them into the test tube. I got a few really nice bright images. And one of the really interesting things about these is that they are actually made of wood. It's a very thin wood with a, an uh, almost kind of plasticky finish on them. They are a little difficult to break up when you first get them. It's a little time consuming to pull all these little pieces apart, but they break apart a lot easier after that first time. These are 150 pieces each, and these little test tubes are just so perfect to throw in a bag to take with you on an airplane, take with you in the car, take with you wherever you're going. I love these kind of little puzzles like this. So the next thing I'm going to show you is not actually a puzzle, but it is something that I know a lot of puzzlers enjoy. This is uh, one of those little micro block sets. They're like little building blocks. You use it to make this, um, what is it? A dancing lion is the name of this. I've actually never tried one of these little sets, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to give it a shot. I'm not going to build the whole thing for you right now because it's uh, almost 1,500 pieces, but let's take a look at what's in the box. Okay, this is our dancing lion. It is 1,468 pieces. This is what it's gonna look like when it's done. On the box, you can see there are actually three different styles available. 
And again, I haven't done one of these, so I don't exactly know what to expect in the box, but I think there's gonna be instructions. All right, here we go. So we've got like a little booklet. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, these are a lot more complicated and detailed than I knew. It's like Ikea furniture. So I think I'm gonna do just the first like step of instructions to see how these pieces feel going together. Okay, that's step one completed. I don't know what part of it I'm building yet. It did take me a minute to get used to reading these instructions, uh, but once I got the hang of it, it was pretty satisfying. It goes a lot slower than I thought it would. This is definitely gonna be the kind of thing I'll just sit and work on little by little in front of the TV. You're not solving it like a puzzle because you're following step-by-step -step instructions, but you still get that same satisfaction of seeing something start to come together, building something with your hands. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun for me to finish. This next little puzzle is perfect for Halloween month. It's a 3D crystal blocks puzzle of a skull. It's sort of a 3D puzzle made of 49 plastic pieces. And it comes with a little wooden base that lights it up. So we're gonna take a closer look at this. Alrighty, here's our crystal blocks skull. It's 49 pieces. Let's have a look inside. All right, so this is the base that it'll stand on so we can light it up at the end. And we've got our bag of pieces. And okay, looks like there's actually some some kind of instructions. Okay, so it says here it is easy to finish according to the shape of the crystal parts above and assemble in numerical order. Of course, you can also assemble by yourself and not follow the instruction. More difficulty, more challenging, more funny, and you will feel greater fulfillment after finished. So I think I'm gonna try to do this without following these instructions. And let's see how it goes. skull is just about done. I had been wondering what this little piece was for, and now I think I've figured it out. We've got a rod with sort of a screw end that goes all the way through. And this is our little tool to screw it down tight. the top of his head on. Ah, check that out. Very cool, let's light it up. Okay, I've got our little light plugged in. Okay, let's see. Woo! Oh, I didn't know it was gonna have colors. Oh, hang on. Ooh, happy Halloween. Okay, I'm gonna play with this some more later. 
Next up, I did want to take a look at one of their cardboard puzzles. They don't have a lot of cardboard puzzles on Timu, at least right now. This one is a thousand piece puzzle from a brand called Max Renard. It says it's from their world famous painting series. Uh, this painting is called Lady with a Fan. It's by Gustav Klimt. And interestingly, the artist's name is not on the packaging anywhere. I think this artwork is very beautiful and really good for a puzzle because there's so many different colors and textures across it. I'm not going to solve it today, but let's take a look inside. I want to see what the pieces are like. All right, gorgeous artwork. Lady with the fan. Max Renard is the brand. 1,000 pieces. Our piece is coming in a bag. We do have a poster here. All right, that's a nice big poster. And they show some of the other puzzle designs they have. So these are very rigid pieces. And they are actually... They're really a nice thickness. They're very solid. Um, I don't see anything bent or peeling. I mean, these look pretty nice. I'm very pleased with these. One thing that's jumping out to me is that the backs of them have multiple colors. I'm wondering if they've got some kind of color pattern on the back to make it easier for you to sort it into smaller sections. I've not seen that before. Sometimes I've seen where they'll put like letters or numbers on the back to divide up the sections, but I haven't seen it colored like that. All right, honestly, this looks great. I don't know how the pieces are going to fit together, if they're going to be loose or tight. Uh, I'm not going to get into that today. But just at first glance, this looks great. Okay, I have just a few more things to show you. The next one is another thing that's not a puzzle, but it's puzzle-like. These are little wooden 3D bug kits. I've got the beetle and the praying mantis. And you just punch out the components and follow the instructions to build them. Again, just another like little fun thing to do with your hands. I did the praying mantis already. And I'll be saving the beetle for later. The instructions were easy to follow. It came together pretty good. On the praying mantis, it was hard to get the wings on there. They kept wanting to pop off, but we got it together. And that's just a really cool little thing to put on a shelf. I guess you could paint it if you wanted to. I think it looks pretty awesome with the natural wood, though. Then I also got this. This is a bag of just blank wooden puzzle piece cutouts. You get 100 of them in the bag, and I just think there's so many different things you could do with these. I feel like you could turn them into magnets, turn them into a pin, uh, make earrings out of them, paint them, decorate them however you want. So I figured I can definitely use these for something. Unfortunately, they don't interlock. I actually, I spent a while trying to find two pieces that would fit together. I did eventually find two that I could put together, but I never found a third. So I think there's just a lot more things you could do with them if they did actually interlock. Like, I thought it would be really cool to do them as a bunch of magnets that all fit together. So I'm not exactly going to be able to use them the way that I wanted to, but I think I'm still going to find a bunch of uses for these little puzzle pieces. Okay, and I have one last puzzle to show you today, and I am going to solve this one. This is called the Jigsaw Puzzle in a Bottle. It's a 42-piece puzzle. This one is cats, but they have it in a few different designs. It's an acrylic puzzle, and it comes with an acrylic uh, bottle-shaped frame that holds it. So I'm really interested to see how this comes together. Let's take a look at it. All right, so on the back of the box, we have the instructions for assembling the bottle frame. But the instructions are in Chinese, so hopefully we'll be able to figure that out. All right, so we've got this little sachet has our pieces. And what's neat about this is the, the pieces are cut on the color lines. So all of the individual cats are cut out separately which is gonna make it a lot trickier. Now I'm seeing there's a lot of pieces that are not fully separated, so I'm probably gonna have to try to snap these apart before I get started. And then we've also got, here is our bottle frame that we're gonna be solving it within. 
And this is the hardware that holds it all together. Okay, so I think this is a neat concept. Uh, it's a really unique way to display a puzzle after you've completed it. I think the final product is very attractive. I had a couple issues with this one. First of all, all of the acrylic pieces were coated with this plastic film that you had to peel off, which in the case of the bottle pieces was not a big deal. It's a little tricky to get it started, but then they just peel right off. The thing is, all 42 of the little puzzle pieces also were coated with plastic film. So 42 times having to try to get this little film started. I ended up having to bring out my tweezers to surgically remove these little plastic films off of each piece. The other thing is, remember how I mentioned that this puzzle is cut on the color lines? Each cat is its own piece. And a puzzle that's cut on color lines can be really, really tricky because there's no indication of what pieces go next to each other. So you're really just working off of that piece shape. Unfortunately, the cut of this puzzle is just slightly misaligned from the image, which means that each piece doesn't have that effect of looking like an individual cat, and also means that it completely spoils the difficulty factor because each cat has a little sliver of the cat next to it on its piece. So this puzzle was not tricky at all, came together very quickly, and actually solving the puzzle was a lot faster than removing the film from all the pieces. So I thought this was a really neat idea. I love the way it looks in the end. Just the execution on this one was a little bit off. So I had so much fun shooting this video today. This just felt like Christmas morning getting to open all of these toys. You can find all the items that I showed today in the link in my description where you can also download the Timu app. And again, be sure to use that discount code DEAL5789 to unlock a $100 coupon bundle. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button before you go. Now I'm going to get back to puzzling and I'll catch you all next time. <laughs>